I'm going to connect my Android phone to my car. First thing you have to do, go to settings, scroll down, turn on Android Auto, and then turn on USB Auto Launch. Now go to your app store and find the Android Auto app. It's made by Google. Install it. So I'm going to tap open. And the first time it comes up, there's a lot of work to do. Get started, grant permissions, allow it to make phone calls, allow access location, I'm going to allow it. Send text messages, I'm going to allow it. Access calendar, I'm going to deny that. Record audio, allow. Access contacts, allow. I mean, it takes a while. And I'm going to hit continue for notifications. You can turn that on or off. I'm going to allow it for right now at least. Turn on auto launch. I'm going to select my vehicle, my Chevrolet, but it should be similar for whatever vehicle you have. So check it and then turn it on. It's just a little tutorial saying you can talk to Google or select your mic to get hands-free help while you're driving. Got it. And there's my home screen. Now when the Android Auto app is running and it's displaying on your screen, you can't use your phone. It's one or the other. And there we are. My Android screen is displaying or like being mirrored in my car dash. The circle is home. There's navigation. And I could search for an address and then hit the little arrow to go. There's my phones. That's the last number dialed. And then you can scroll down through your contacts and tap one. Or you can go to the dial pad and enter a number. Let's go back to home. Do you have any music resources? I do not. Hit music again. It goes back to the top level. I guess I had been in Google. Return to my Chevrolet. Let's go back to home. Let's explore with Google. Okay, Google. Dairy Queen near me. Show your results for Dairy Queen near me. And then I would just tap one and go. Let's go back to home. Okay, Google. Call Dairy Queen near me. So using Google works just like it did before. So basically, that's pretty much it. It's just nice to have that hands-free option. I think the big deal is the navigation, since a lot of times your nav in your car is outdated. One more quick thing. If you need to change your notifications or your permissions for the app, say you think you missed something, just go to your device settings. Scroll down to apps. Find the Android Auto app and go down the permissions and you can change your settings here remember we enabled everything except for calendar go down to notifications change those as you want them and then when you're done just back out so i hope that's helpful to get you started thank you